Hey everyone, welcome to a new video for vacuumtester.com. My name is Rob and in this video, video I test the latest Philips stick vacuum cleaner, the Philips Aqua Trio 9000 series. As the name suggests, this is a stick vacuum cleaner with a mopping function. Let's see how well this vacuum cleaner mops and vacuums. Let's start with the unboxing. First of all, I discover the floor mop brush, which is equipped with two soft roller brushes. You also get a floor brush if you don't want to mop, but only want to vacuum. You also get two separate vacuum cleaner rods. One for vacuum only, and one for mopping, which is equipped with a water reservoir and a collection tray. This is the interchangeable handle with LCD screen where you can click the battery in, which has a battery life of about 46 minutes. There is also a motorized mini brush and a crevice tool for vacuum hard to reach areas. And of course you get a charger and a wall holder with screws and plugs. This is the cleaning brush with which you can also unscrew the roller brushes. I also discover a four cleaning solution in the packaging. This is a storage station where you can store just everything about neatly. Thanks to the storage station you can quickly switch between vacuum and mopping or just vacuuming. And then you keep everything well together so that you keep everything at hand. Let's see how it looks. In all my vacuum cleaner reviews I test the suction performance with different dirt sizes and different floor types. Time to switch the Philips Aqua Trio to vacuum only. The stick vacuum cleaner scores well on hard wooden floors. As you can see he pushes the dirt slightly forward but removes everything neatly. Even on short pile carpet both large and small dirt is not a problem at all. And thanks to the LED lighting in the floor brush, you can see the dirt very well on dark floors. The dirt is also removed well on long pile carpet, but I do notice that it goes less smoothly. You can vacuum furniture with the included mini turbo brush. And with the crevice tool, you can easily vacuum in hard to reach places. The suction power is 4 kPa, which is fine for a stick vacuum, as well as an airflow of about 26 meters per second. The noise level is good, with only 67 decibels, it's a quiet stick vacuum. Time to mess. Oops! Fortunately, the Philips Aqua Trio 9000 series can mop. Time to switch it now to the mopping function. The water reservoir must of course be filled. Do you use a supplied floor cleaning solution? Then stick it to the indicated amount. Pour the solution into the water reservoir and then fill it with water to the maximum level as indicated on the water reservoir. And then close it with the lid. Click it well back in the vacuum cleaner and then you can mop. The water is separated from the dirt and you can determine the amount of water via the buttons on the LCD screen. The roller brushes rotate in opposite directions so we can vacuum and mop both the front and the back. This is completely different from other stick vacuums with a mop function, as it does not drag a wet mop behind it but it actually scrubs the floor. There is something special about the maintenance. The Philips Aqua 309000 series can clean itself. 
The stick vacuum cleaner starts cleaning at the push of a button. After about 4 minutes you can unscrew the brushes and let them dry in the storage station. And with the small brush you can also clean the entrance of the floor brush. Emptying the water collector is easy. You can remove the lid and empty it over the sink. Emptying a dust container is a drawback for me. I have to take off the handle first, then the vacuum cleaner rod and then the filter after which I can empty it over the bin. And it's not a clean job either as you can see. The foam filter is washable. You have to let it dry well afterwards before using it again. So, let's summarize my findings. This Philips Aqua Trio is a very interesting stick vacuum with a mopping function. This stick vacuum not only wipes the floor with a wet pad, but really scrubs the floor. Thanks to the storage station, which unfortunately takes up a lot of space, you can easily switch between with or without a mopping function. Perfect for homes with carpets on the floor too. In terms of suction power and performance, the Aqua Trio scores very well. Also in terms of versatility. Thanks to the many accessories and the possibility to mop, you can use this vacuum cleaner for a lot of different cleaning jobs. On the other hand, this vacuum cleaner is a bit on the heavy side. With more than 4 kg, it can feel heavy to vacuum. The price is also a downside for me. With a sales price of more than approximately 850 euros, it's really expensive. But for this, you get a very versatile vacuum. Are you interested in this vacuum cleaner? You will find the link in the description of the video. I hope to see you soon at vacuumtester.com and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye bye! Hey, want to see more videos like this? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really need your help to grow. And oh yeah, it's completely free.